Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today it is Saturday morning. It is a like dreary and grey and very cold day outside um, and I don't have any plans pretty much so I thought that maybe we could go out and maybe visit the bookstore um, and then like potentially go to a cafe and read it. It's been months and months since I've like been able to do anything like this like for obvious reasons so yeah those are pretty much all of my plans for today um just for you guys' context with like what's going on at the moment all of our cafes and restaurants have been open for weeks and weeks we haven't had like a community transmitted case here in adelaide in months so um like things are slowly returning to normal i'm actually back at work i returned to my nine to five um, a few weeks ago at this point so um, yeah things for us here in Adelaide are actually going back to normal which is amazing but yeah anyway I digress today is a like chilly winter's day and I'm gonna go out and go to the bookstore and go pick up something to read and tossing up a few different books I don't know what you guys do to like keep lists on the books you want to read but I have a spreadsheet um, I have like this spreadsheet that I use to document all the books that I read and like what I thought about them and like notes and stuff and like where the author's from and just like things that I find interesting um, and then in that spreadsheet I have like another tab that just has like all the books I want to read but there are hundreds and hundreds of books on that list and I'm like slowly getting through it but yeah today I have like a rough idea of what I want to get um, depending on what they have in stock but yeah, it should be really, really nice. I haven't, I haven't bought books, like actually bought books in so many months because I, I, I read my books from the library or I listen to them on Libby or I listen to them on Audible. So yeah, the libraries are back open too. I will just add that into like updates on how life is going at the moment. Um, the libraries have been open for the last few weeks. Um, so that's really, really good because I love the library. It's like that and the bookstore, they're both like my happy place. So yeah, it feels really weird. It feels really weird to be filming a, a vlog that I'm like, actually going to be going outside in. So yeah, it is a weird and interesting time. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to go head out and go to the bookstore and just go look at some books for a while. I think that will be really, really lovely. <laughs>
Okay, hey guys, I have just gotten home. Um, that cafe was really, really good. I thought that it was so cute in its presentation um, and what I had was delicious and it was just really, really lovely. It's called um, Muscovado, so if you're in Adelaide, I definitely recommend it. Um, you know, we don't have heaps and heaps of like lovely, aesthetically pleasing cafes here, so um, that one was just really nice and the staff was super lovely too. Um, definitely recommend. But yeah, I read a chunk of Pachinko and it's really good so far. I like have been wanting to read this book for a while. I don't know heaps about the plot so far, but from what I can gather, it's about a young girl in like sort of the early-ish 1900s who's Korean and then goes to live in Japan. Um, Pachinko, if you don't know, is like the name of a um, sort of like a pinball type game that um, people play in Japan. Um, it's very very popular and there's lots of like pachinko parlors like all around so um that's where the name comes from but yeah enjoying it so far the way it's written is really like engaging and immersive um i am probably gonna dive back into reading pretty soon probably need to do some like lifey stuff because our apartment is pretty messy i'm trying to strategically not show you very much of it um and yeah let's go do more reading <laughs> Okay, hey guys, so it is Saturday, but it is Saturday like two weeks later from the last clip that you would have seen. Um, I had every intention of continuing to- sorry, I, um, I cut my finger earlier today, so that's why I have a band-aid on. Um, I had every intention to keep vlogging, um, not even last weekend, but the weekend before, but like a heap of lifey stuff got in the way, and I didn't really manage to do any more reading, and then last weekend I was super duper busy, and now here we are, and it's been two weeks since I vlogged, um, and I realized that that clip of footage I had wasn't a full vlog and didn't have an ending. Um, and to be honest, I didn't even end up reading like that much more of Pachinko. I've actually read like this much, so um, a bit of a chunk of it, but not like heaps and heaps of the book. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. I think it's beautifully brilliantly written i really genuinely love it and i'm reading it kind of slowly because i want to savor it and i really really want to enjoy it but yeah pretty much um i had that really lovely day out went to a cafe did a bunch of reading and then just stuff got in the way and i couldn't pick up my camera for two weeks and here we are um so i'm going to be continuing this reading vlog yeah today is saturday and Gloriously, this weekend we have like no plans. It's wide open. Um, I just really want to have a good cozy time reading and just chill out and do some stuff like that. So far today, I've literally just been watching Hamilton. Um, I just got to the intermission, so that's like an hour and 15 minutes in or something. But um, I love it so much so far. I, I've never like listened to the soundtrack or anything because um, I love Lin-Manuel Miranda. He's just like a ball of sunshine um, and I really really wanted to see Hamilton for ages but I, I, I don't watch a lot of musicals. I'm like not really super into musicals so um, I was worried that listening to the soundtrack heaps would like ruin the experience of one day seeing it live but now that it's on Disney Plus like I'm actually obviously able to watch Hamilton. Um, and yeah, about halfway through and I love it and I think it's so 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 good. Um, so yeah, I want to keep watching Hamilton. What else? What else do I have to update you on in the last two weeks? Uh, last night in Animal Crossing I got both the Scorpion and the Money Island in the same like actual island. Uh, which I thought was quite amazing. I was really perplexed when I got there and there were lots of scorpions and there were lots of rocks with lots of money in them, so that was quite cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I um, have been super duper busy, but also don't have heaps of stuff to update you guys on at the moment. As always, I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks and I'm really excited to be doing a sort of like wrap-up video soon of all the books I've read in the last few months because um, like 
the more stressful the world gets, the more I spend time reading. So I've actually been reading a lot over the last few months and I've read some really brilliant books that I want to chat to you guys about. So that video will be coming at some point. Um, as soon as I get my act together and film it and do all the things. But yeah, it's been a really calm, peaceful morning so far. Again, literally just have been watching Hamilton and my only real plans for today are to finish watching Hamilton and to read a bunch more of Pachinko. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to Hamilton now and keep watching it because I really, really want to finish it. Um, I wasn't really planning on watching it all in one sitting because it's like three hours or something, but um, it's so good and I really want to get back to it. And yeah, other than that, I'm not really planning on doing much today other than reading. Um, it should be a really, really lovely day. Hey guys, good morning. It is now Sunday. Actually, I don't think it's morning anymore. I think it's... Yep, it's just past noon. Um, last night, I... After, like, we finished watching Hamilton, um, had dinner, like, did all that kind of stuff, and then I, like, kept reading more of Pachinko. And I tried to stay up late reading Pachinko, but then I, like, actually ended up falling asleep. Just didn't quite fall asleep on the book, fell asleep next to it, but pretty much that's how that went. So yeah, read a bit more of it, but didn't finish like heaps and heaps of it. Um, I love watching like reading vlogs where people will start reading a book and finish reading a book, but um, yeah, I just, I don't read physical books that quickly because I don't have like abundant amounts of time. Um, I really desperately wish I did, but um, yeah, I'm still plugging along with Pachinko. Um, hopefully I will tell you guys my thoughts about it soon, whether it's in like a wrap up video or like on Instagram or something. Actually, I should let you guys know, I recently got Goodreads and by recently I mean like I've had Goodreads since like 2015 or 2013, I think 2015. Um, I like started a Goodreads account, but like I never ever used it. I genuinely never used Goodreads. Um, but recently I've decided to start like properly using it. So um, if you want to go and follow me on Goodreads, um, I'll put the link in the description down below. But yes, I now use Goodreads um, and I'll have that linked there in case you want to go and check that out. So yeah, whether I tell you guys my thoughts on Pachinko, on Goodreads or Instagram, I'll, I'll put them somewhere. Pachinko is really, really beautifully written and I'm already really enjoying like the characters and how many characters there are and, and how well fleshed out they are. They all feel really convincing and real. Um, but I think my favorite thing about the book so far is the way the perspectives work and the way the narration works. Um, there's this sort of like omniscient narration in this book where it will jump into like the focalization of different characters. So, um, for example, the main character Sunja is like 
her appearance is perceived differently depending on whose perspective you're looking at and i know like shifting perspectives is not a new thing but like it jumps like with different paragraphs it will go to someone else and it will just like very quickly dive into someone else's perspective and you have to be quite paying attention to to see whose head you're inside of and i really really like that like that's one of the reasons i love mrs dalloway by virginia wolf because it like has the stream of consciousness and like jumps into different people's um perspectives and i just i love that i think it's really really cool um and i think it tells a really interesting story i didn't know really anything about this um portion of history like i only found out recently that japan actually occupied korea in the early 1900s or like before the war um i still don't know heaps and heaps about this like period of history but this is one of the reasons that i really like historical fiction because if the author has done their due diligence and done their research and like they're telling like an accurate portrayal you actually get to learn quite a bit about history and i also found that too with watching hamilton last night like um i didn't know very much about this portion of american history either and um hamilton being like one of the founding fathers and it like following sort of his life i found it like really really interesting and i learned quite a bit about like american history just from watching that musical um so historical things are great because you learn a lot and yeah hamilton hamilton was so so good i loved it um i've been listening to the soundtrack all this morning it oh i loved it it was so 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 good uh i teared up many times during the musical and just generally thought it was really brilliant. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I need to actually edit this vlog so that I can get it up for you guys tonight. So if you're watching this on the day it goes out, then this is me also filming this on the day it goes out. Um, holy crap, you guys, I can't believe we're at 60,000 people subscribed to this channel. I am in constant like awe and shock at the community we have here. Like it's just, it is amazing and I can't believe how many people are subbed to this channel now. Yeah, honestly, like cannot believe it. It's amazing. And I just want to say like a really, really massive thank you to you guys because um, like, I don't want to dwell on it, but it has been a really difficult uh, few months with like everything that's going on. Like just in general, it's been really, really stressful. And um, this channel is just this constant source of like positivity and happy things and um it makes me so happy to read the comments that you guys leave and i really appreciate them and even though like i don't have time to respond to all of them i try really hard to but obviously i read them all and they make me really really happy so thank you guys so much thank you to everyone who's like new here and who's been here for a while um yeah, I just am flabbergasted and I, I really, really appreciate it. So yeah, I'm sorry that this vlog was really, really choppy and all over the place. It's sort of like indicative of, of just how things are at the moment. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for being here. As always, if you have um, recommendations or suggestions for videos that you want to see, um, please do comment them down below. I love reading them and I really appreciate them. Uh, and yeah, take care guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.